Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Mine's new scheme, Raftalia's past, and what's happening to Melty. Before we start, I did want to let y'all know Devin's a little under the weather, so if you hear him mumbling or if he falls asleep, don't be worried. That's I won't fall asleep. Okay, well. That's, um, I'm always woke. Hey, hey, hey <laughs> let's stay woke. Yeah, so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That way you, you can keep up to date with the content. We just started reviewing One Punch Man Season 2, so check that out if you haven't yet. And there's going to be a movie review coming up soon, which is really late. But anyways, getting into the episode, we pick up where we left off last week, and mine is, you know, commanding her troops to, to light, set the world on fire, yeah, pretty much. Back to her old ways. I mean, mm -hmm. what's, what's new? Yeah. And we see her whispering something to a guard at the beginning, and he gives this like little devious smile. And we pretty much we find out later on in the episode what it is. Yeah. And he's, she's accusing Naofumi of, you know, destroying the whole forest just to get away. And I mean, not to mention his name is already being destroyed. His reputation, at least, the Devil of the Shield Hero. I mean, they're calling mm -hmm. him. I mean, it's going around every country, so he's he's already had a reputation. And then you see throughout the episode that. The town that they go to, they're looking for him, mm -hmm. and they're always calling him the devil of the, sh the shield. As much as I don't like mine, I gotta give her props for being able to just come up with scheme after scheme to, to corner the shield hero and to turn everybody else against him. I mean, I know she's royalty, so she has an advantage there, but still, I mean, it's just everything she does. It's like, it's like they're playing chess, and right now she looks like she's winning. Yeah. We'll see with the nude piece. Um, as Melty on Naofumi's side, uh, how that will work out. Yeah, she always, <clears throat> she always has a plan. As Naofumi and his team starts hiding, uh, we see the new the new lord from the other territory, and his name's Edal, and he knows the king from Melramark, and Melty realizes that, and she starts talking to him and saying, "Can you take me back home? I want to clear his name of all all of these lies." He volunteers, and he takes her back to his mansion. Later on, we see that the team goes to rescue her because they don't want to leave her behind. Because mm -hmm. we know the schemes that Mine has planning for her. She wants to kill her, so she has the throne. And this is where we see Van was actually a good guy. Now, Fumi didn't trust him, but Van was protecting him. Probably more so Melty, because Melty said she didn't know where the shield hero was. And so if he would have admitted he knew or he was hiding the shield hero, then, you know, Mel Melty would have been considered, they would have seen her as a liar. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, for, now for me, um, wanted to keep his promise to Melty, and so that's why he went to rescue her in the first place. Mm -hmm. he, he's kind of trying to get that trend of, you know, if someone puts their trust in me, I'm going to be loyal to them and, and protect them. So that's why um, he went originally to mm -hmm. go and, and save her. But what I was interested in when, uh, what's his name, Ido, yeah. when he went to try to um, harm uh, Melty. Dude, I was surprised that uh, Melty did not do anything. I mean, she looked like she was getting ready to do something with yeah. that, but she didn't do I was like, go ahead and throw a Kamehameha. Yeah. I was like, hit it. It could have been because she's still young and she's practicing, so it's not like second nature. For That's me. probably true, yeah. As now Fumi and the girls arrive at uh, Edal's place, we see demi-humans, you know, banging on the gates to get in because they want to rescue Van. Because earlier it was mentioned how Van has been very good to demi-humans. Mm. And he doesn't treat them as servants or slaves like Raftali was treated in Edo's place, which we see later on in the episode. And they go and they start uh, making their way in to rescue Melty. And uh, we see Raftalia starting to get flashbacks, starting to recognize th things in... Uh, it's just like fear slash like sadness, um, and is, more like a, like a vengeance. Like I want to I want to avenge them. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And now Fumi promises that they'll come back later to rescue people. Now Fumi tells Philo to go crazy. He ends up finding a guard, poisoning him, and to, offers him antidote if he tells him where Melty is. They break their way into where Melty's at, and E Dog, you know, grabs a knife. And is about to threat. He's threatening to stab a princess. Now Fumi does his airstrike shield to break him up. Mm -hmm. Philo gives him a nice kick, and then this is where we're left to it, Raftalia to face to face her past right here. And she starts walking up to him, and he's just like he's whipping, whipping her. and yeah. she just keeps walking forward. And she's it's like she's like almost like I've I've already been through this. Like it doesn't phase me, yeah. but also kind of like 
um, you know, I'm not gonna ever go through that again. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make sure that no one else, like me, go through that again. So it's kind of like that's kind of the feel I got whenever she was walking up to him, and then you see her with the sword, looking like she's about to. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I mean, it looks like he's about to kill. Her. As Ralph Talia was walking towards Edal, he starts whipping her, and it doesn't even phase her at this point. Which, as a child, we know it would have phased her. You know, Ralph Talia, even when she first joined Nafumi, was crying a lot and and whining. But it, it was almost as if like his symbol of power had no power over her anymore. Mm -hmm. Like his symbol of power, what he thought he had, what he thought was his control, is gone, and yeah. it didn't even phase her. Yeah. Like yeah, it was marking her up, but. I mean, it was, I, I enjoyed that scene. Yeah. And then you see her, see him beg for mercy. Yes. So it's kind of like a reverse, mm -hmm. like the tides change, you know. It's different now. You yeah. Know, you're not, I'm not ever going back to that. And she, she mentions, she's like, how many people begged you for mercy? And she, you didn't show them any. Uh, since she is on the hero side, I don't think she will. Oh yeah, she she's not, come. definitely. But if anything, he'll, she'll probably like cut him or something mm -hmm. or Maybe he might, or she might spare him, turn her, turn her away, and then he might do something, and then she, something to happen, and he dies or something. I don't know. I wish he would kind of turn over a new leaf and become one of the good guys and kind of support now for me and his crew. Idol did have one of those crosses that those nuns and that the church has been carrying around, and he's you know calling, calling now for me the devil shield, and he was saying how he's doing this for the church, you know, doing this for God, whatever. But it's just the roots of this religion that spreads out you know across the whole country it's like it's this religion is like a cult yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. i mean everybody it's it's like everybody's after everybody's after now for me mm -hmm. and then but now for me it's like he's the good guy he's the real good guy and everyone who's after him are like the people who are not good you know mm -hmm. it's funny because this whole time mine is convincing everybody that now Fumi's brainwashing people when really she's using this church to brainwash people. She's using this church to con that they're already you know submitted to to control them. Yeah, you kind of kind of gotta give her props. Yeah, I mean, she's she seems to always have a plan. She's slowly becoming Devin's favorite character. No. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you thought about this episode. With that said, I'm Devin. I'm Noah, and we'll see you next time.